Hi Sarath, welcome to the channel. Hi Ashwita, how are you? And thank you so much for agreeing to do this. I'm really well. How are you doing? I'm good. Uh, good day, and uh, I'm I'm humbled as well to be a part. You know. Okay. So Sarath, uh, so I I know who you are, but for the audience who might not be familiar with you, can you just give a brief introduction about yourself to them? So hi guys, uh, I'm uh, Sharad, basically a nomadic voice as an artist. I'm uh, an independent artist back in uh, from Kerala. I've um, I'm still, you know, trying to put up more music to the scene, and uh, that's it. <laughs> so I really want to deep dive into your entire musical journey, like starting from your very first song, uh, and to the point of you know one of your songs getting you know landing. you know in the promo of netflix's upcoming series which is the dabba cartel but first yeah. i want to know how did you come up with the name nomadic voice yeah, like what's the thought behind the stage name well uh, to be honest you know like i i love traveling and you know like uh, my, my friends uh, used to call me you know like uh, what do you call in um, in manala we say nadodi who doesn't you know like like a like a vagabond who doesn't stay in a particular place and you know, like travel around ah. uh, six, to a particular thing and you know like so when i started working i used to you know travel work somewhere you know and then use the uh, you know use the money to travel around the place all right and i used to shoot and make music there so that's oh. that's how it, it, the marik voice name came you know that's really really interesting so uh, let's start from the very very beginning so did you choose music or did music accidentally choose you how how did the love for music begin well uh, i used to you know like i was into music my dad uh, used to have in ba- ba- back in the days we used to have the cassettes you know tape cassettes yeah and he, he used to have loads of collection you know, like like all the way from you know um, ghazals from talat aziz um, jagjit singh pankaj das oh wow uh, and uh, all the way to pop and bonnie m and michael jackson and uh, barry white and all those things and malayalam music and tamil and everything so from the very young age i used to you know like there was always music in house you know all the time some oh, sort yeah. of so that that kind of influenced me but um, the writing part came first i used to write and then my friends told you know, like my best friend um, uh, aditya from school so we used to he used to you know like he's basically Uh, he's no more unfortunately but oh. he used to be a drummer so we used to you know like tap on the benches classroom you know the classroom vibes and do the yeah. thing so he was the one who told me you know, like you write good stuff so why can't uh, you do something you know like so make oh. it into something that's how it started you know like i never uh, it was never intentional anyways oh so your your friend uh, aditya basically he got you into this so i, I yeah, mean we both loved music Ah, so it's it's quite safe to say that there was always the family support because usually when, ah, uh, specifically from in India, when we say that oh we want to do something offbeat in our career, usually there the, there's resistance the first time. So I am guessing no, I from not... your end, <laughs> there was no resistance. No, 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 no. I could never say you know, like in my family, my mom and dad they were like you know like you have to get a job you know like ah uh, like you know you have to get a job first and this is something that is your passion you know like but. Uh, you know the usual uh, I, and i can't blame them for that because i come from a really humble fa- ba- financial background right. so you know like, we used to be used to we have to have something you know like otherwise um, there should I be understand. a breadwinner and you know support the family so you know like there was no other options left you know okay so so you are the only child you don't have siblings i'm guessing no no, 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 no. i have an elder sister she's 9 years older than me okay all right so there's a big gap so you know like so still you know like there is a when you have a big gap you know then it's not like you have a sibling who is two year older than you or something like that it's, it's a different true. true so basically you had to like so there was not full support but they were like no you get a job and then you can do whatever your passion project yes so basically so like um, uh, the usual question is like um uh, is it paisa milega like uh-huh. uh, paisa to you know uh, that thing comes up so like one right. song hit okay how many at that time you know like youtube was you know like it's not even booming and you know yeah. like it was also not that moving so uh, 100 views kitna milega kitna paisa milega usse so that kind of mentality you know like so it's hard to say it was more of a passion driven thing yeah i want to do it even if people listen to it or not cuz i i used to write you know correct that kind of thing 
Got it. So, so let's talk about your very first song, which is I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Kelkama is is that how it's pronounced? No, it's 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 called uh, Kelkamo. 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 Okay. Yeah. So I I rely heavily on the subtitles when listening to like regional music. But of course, this yeah. this song is a very old song. It was posted eleven years back. It didn't have any subtitles. But I really liked the overall song, and especially because. since i did not know the meaning of the song i was concentrating on the instrumentals and i think the mouth organ was very very prominent and i really liked it so you you yeah. know you got the singer writer composer in that and it's the song that officially started your journey so how how did that song come about and what was the thought behind it so at that time i was in uh, trivandrum back in kerala okay and uh, so uh, i there's lots of political issues going around you know like like something about dowry something about you know, like about ghotala and stuff like that mm-hmm. uh, usual stuff so and that time i was uh, it was that stage where you know like i was uh, my sal- uh, my my salary was not even enough to pay my education loan okay you no know? you know so my first salary was around maybe like 6500 or something like that so it was nothing it's nothing so um, at that time all these things came up and i was trying to get a job somewhere else and all these hassles came up and i was kind of frustrated okay and, That's when this thing, the whole thing came up where you know the pol- uh, so that song Kelkam is a bit political. You know, it's basically political things point pinpointing the st- stuff like you know, like if you have to marry, you have to give dowry, and you know like that mm-hmm. kind of things. And, you know like um people uh, people going to I've seen uh, my personal experience where you know like people go to you know uh, the Shabri Mala, the Ayappa Mandir, you know the yeah. Ayappa Mandir back, back yeah. in Kerala. I've seen people you know like uh, t- uh, keeping vrat for a, a long time and then they go. Uh, to uh, shabrimala and as on the way back they get to the uh, get beer and get drunk you know like that's no nothing of a such things happening you know like i've, I've seen such things happening it's not it. like a yeah, yeah. So, so i just always wanted to say these things on the face but whenever you right. say you know like people are like you know like right nahi bola chahiye you get a bad <laughs> correct that correct. kind of so this was kind of kind of me venting out you know like saying you know like on the face because this this is where i can be me and say yeah What and I want rap, to say. Rap is always like you know uh, considered parallel to the truth, specifically yes. rap music. So why yes. why why rap? Like was it like an interest from school time only? No no no, because I can't <laughs> because I'm not a good singer. I have no other option but rap. Oh that is. <laughs> I always wanted to sing. I always wanted to sing, but I can't sing. <laughs> all all the keys are off keys. Even though you even even now when I sing, you know, like if, if there is no auto tune and uh, and my fellow engineers. No, I I I I I still I can sound like Travis Scott, but without the attitude, I'm, I'm like shit. <laughs> At least you're honest about it. But then you know what's what's the writing process for you? Because when it comes to specifically rap, there's just so much to pack in. You know, it's never just the lyrics, lyrics. It's also the rhyme schemes that you have to take care yeah. of. There are entendres. Then you need to think about the flow switches. You know, so many things. Yeah. So. What is the process when you start? Okay, this is the topic that I'm gonna uh, write about, and then how does the writing process start? For me, um, uh, I write. Uh, in first, I do the writing thing. Okay. I have the whole whole idea going up. You know, like I have to write about. Okay, for example, like I said, Shabri Mala thing. I have to write about this. I have to write about Dowry. I have to write about you know uh, people uh, people stealing money. You know, like yeah. and the uh, road works and all these things. Contractors doing what I said. All these things. I make them and write. I, Elaborately write on it. Okay, and then uh, we 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 sit together. You know, like the fellow. My, uh, in that case, it was J- Jay Bro. So we sat together and we uh, we we give an idea for the kind of music that we want. Hmm. And then um, once the beats and tempos and everything is made, I'll I'll cut short the words and I'll I'll place them, uh-huh. keeping the whole idea. I'll place them in a sec. Because for me, it was a whole. Uh, you know. Um, a growing process it, like if i would have started uh, rapping in this uh, day it will be really hard for me because there's too much rappers in the scene for me i would say i was lucky cuz uh, i had enough place to make mistakes cuz there wasn't much rap thing going on right so we, i had the liber- liberty to make mistakes and grow you know right 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 so i would say that, that was a good time to start you know so if you see uh, my my first songs i, I don't like them I don't like any of my songs because I think after releasing them, I think I could make them better. I think that's with all artists, right? So they always think that okay, the next one I can do much better than what I did in the yeah. previous one. Because right? I hate when my friends play my own songs. I was like, yeah, change, 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 please. Change, change. 
<laughs> but coming to you know talking about your older songs your song uh, chan karan is that how it's pronounced yes. because yeah i, I will i will <laughs> con- confirm it with you so that was a game changer in your career i guess in terms of visibility you know from the public yes. which led to various other collabs so now i listen to the song and initially i thought oh wait is is it going to be like a rap song with a latino kind of vibe and then the fast yeah. tempo hits in and it completely threw me off but it was a mix yeah. of both but but the song kind of gave me a lot of happy vibes like you said the first one obviously you were talking about a lot of social issues there but here also in this this one i did not have the subtitles but it gave me like happy vibes and it has to probably do with the video as well because a lot of people like you have shot with common folk and they are all happy and smiling so i was i'm very intrigued on how you created that song and tell me the aftermath of that song because that was like the song which kind of gave gave you that public attention yeah so first of all chankaran uh, to be honest is a very uh, very serious thing i'm saying in a very uh, poppy beat Ah. so people what i've learned uh, from the kind of listeners is that i try to give people you know serious stuff uh, in serious music like hardcore hip hop beats and serious songs mm. uh, people might not like it and people might not listen it so i just uh, the song is called chankaran chankar means uh, you know you see bandar you know like idhar 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 ghum idhar kar ye kar circus wala bandar correct correct i'm saying people uh, including me we are chankaran in some one way or the other because we have been controlled by the masses or um, money or something like that uh, so in the song i'm telling yeah so I, in the song i'm telling serious stuff okay <laughs> but i've given a copy beat so the so the main thing i want to show is that people don't care what you write if, if you give them something copy they will jump even if you abuse them they will jump <laughs> yeah i don't I mean, want people to do that right 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 because you know this for someone who I did not have the subtitle. Like I said, I rely on the subtitle. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, "Oh, this looks. This seems like a happy song, but I don't know because everybody in the video is so happy, and then there's this Latino vibe, and then suddenly I feel like dancing to the song. So that was a very yeah. interesting choice, and I I like the fact you said that you know people, if you just package it in a different way, people might listen to it. But why? Yeah. Why do you think that is? Because hip hop is supposed to like speak the truth. and now yeah. the hip hop scene has really really emerged and we have very various sub genres like we have the fun song we have diss tracks we have motivational songs but i feel that hip hop is that one genre where social issues are really really taken upon by so many artists and talked about i have not seen any other like pop or any other genre kind of hit that social cause so but i think your songs have always been like that only right from the first song yeah. itself so yeah. so is was that like a choice that you made that oh no if i'm making songs i'm going to you know raise social causes like i'm going to raise my voice for these particular causes was it like a choice that you made no 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 it's it's it sometimes things uh, come up to you and like on their own you know like i just don't things happen in like uh, if i try to write on something i'm i'm, I'm I not say i'm a good uh, i'm that capable enough to write on a particular topic if something comes up and i'm, I'm really you know like affected by it yeah i I'll get the thing done maybe like in ten fifteen minutes. I, ah. I'll have the thing done. Okay. Otherwise, if I sit like in like for for weeks, it might not happen. So I don't push it. Okay. It just uh, it just uh, you know Flows loads of uh, newspaper uh, or uh, um, what do you say all these news is coming up and I call for more matters like did you listen this thing uh, mm. bank wala ko ye tap to gaye wo so ah. I'll uh, just pile ups and I just tell like, why not. do it you know uh-huh. that's what you know like hip hop is there and right. like you said why uh, selecting these kind of beats sometimes like you said uh, you have to get your uh, message present correct so even if you have a really good idli, idli dosa in, in in a small shop up in the mountain nobody's going to know that it's it's there so you have to plate it up and you know gift wrap it and give them right that's that's very But, interesting So so yeah. let's talk collabs. I mean I you know I went through the songs on your channel and uh, your features on other channel as well and my very first reaction to your song when I found you out was Drunk in a Shapo which was like a okay. crazy song okay so uh, but my personal collab if I have to say is Pravasi again it did okay. not have subtitles but just sonically it sounded really really good and uh, something about that song really stayed with me but coming back to the viral moment so there are two viral moments as as far as i know one is neeli penne i i hope that's the correct yeah. pronunciation so yeah. that's an 8 minute diss track and then on the other hand the second one is drunk in a shapu which is like a fun yeah. and crazy song so two really really different songs kind of going viral uh, yeah. so what what do you think that really connected with the audience because 
you know both the songs are kind of poles apart in terms of yeah. its messaging in terms of the beat production in terms of the style of rapping also but both yeah. worked with the audience so what what was your assessment at that point of time well um to be honest i still don't know how this whole thing works uh, like you know i just make songs some sometimes sometimes we expect a song to be really good and doesn't work out like pravasi is my one of my personal favorites but uh, from the middle east i got really good reception for the song but uh, in generally i wanted it to go millions you know but it never went because it, it it's for the immigrants and you know like the real stuff of people yeah i i thought so because in bengali also we say probashi so i thought yes, it's yeah so it's me probably related to that i love that song but when you know your two other songs went really really popular and drunk in a shop it was like this massive massive hit that's how i found out about the song drunk in a shop uh, to be honest uh, it, it was made like maybe like in 10 10 or 15 minutes and yeah. that's the only song i uh, i used to have a 1 plus 6 phone at the moment it was covid time yeah then we then we sat together he sent me the beat i recorded the my vocals that's in youtube on my phone oh. i shot the video on my phone and i gave it to him vmk did the edits and that's it and next day or after some time people were like this song is viral and i didn't even know how to react to it still i don't know when people react to like viral thing i just don't <laughs> maybe because i'm i'm a nurse i work you know like uh, in this field you know like i just don't i i i just don't know to react to these things you know like viral okay viral ho gaya chalo theek hai uske baad kya do din baad Oh, yeah, yeah. you know you know it, it it's normal right i i completely understand so i you know for an artist so there is the obviously the creative aspect but now it is because the competition is as such there's also the business aspect of it so do you do you look into both or you're like no no i just want to you know use my brains on creating songs and maybe i'll give the business aspect to somebody else or are yes, you actively like, involved in that I I am not at all because you know like I'll tell you the true fact you know like I just um, like like Jay I I I started to you know like work with Jay maybe like a month before. Okay. I have no clue about posting stories. Like I post uh, like if I see a story, if I see a big artist, small artist, doesn't matter. I share. Hmm. So Jay was telling me, bro, stop doing it. You, you can't be doing that. So like <laughs> you have to. You have and he created a broadcast channel for me. He said you can do whatever you want in that channel. Okay. <laughs> the page. You 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 only post your stuff and do these things. You, you're mm-hmm. a product, and you have to be like this. For me, I I, I can't. You know, like um, I I don't know, and it's uh, it's I just don't get it, <laughs> and I don't want to even go into that that side because mm-hmm. you know, like I'm already working, I'm right. already working twelve hours a day, and music is a part where I I get to, you know, like be me. Right, right, right. I'm yeah. like I'm the boss. You know, like because of. Few, I had a few experiences in the movie scene where you know, like they they want you to make songs and you give them a song by the by the time they are okay, it's not the song that you wanted to. Ah, got it. Yeah, you but know, then so you have to go ahead with it because you can't do anything. I I did. I, I just I just declined it a few once. You know, like so I have this uh, this image. You know, like where you know, like I, if I'm not happy, I don't do it. You know, simple right. simple as that. Happiness is more important. I would say. You know. that's amazing so i am really excited to ask you about the feature of your song kali mari uh, which was used yeah. as part of the promo in upcoming netflix upcoming series dabba kaatal so like did you know or was it a surprise or how did that feature even come about so um i wasn't uh, uh, about the kali mari uh, with dabba kaatal uh, so basically i wasn't active in instagram at all for like 2 years my 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 family came over so i was just a little busy you know like getting a mortgage for a house and all these okay. things you know getting sorted so i was not at all active on instagram i took a break and then i started uh, maybe being active on instagram maybe like a few months before and then melvin i was in kerala for a few days and melvin calls me and uh, another friend of mine calls me like bro netflix is look, looking for your number blah 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 i was like okay <laughs> and then and then he gave me a proof uh, the guy who contacted was a proof he gave me uh, a proof and a proof texted me and then i called him I was like this is the thing and and the moment he s- said that to me you know like usually when people come up with that i don't know you know like usually there is uh, some fishy contracts or stuff something like that not netflix yeah. but some other so um, i'm just scared about these things you know like i just don't want to sign any contract because previously yeah. um, I, some of the company gave me a contract and i had to have, you know assured my solicitor and he was like don't go go for it bro they'll pay you money and you're stuck there for right for a long time but the netflix they were really good and they told me they they gave the contract and all the deals were pretty straightforward hmm and 
the moment they said to me that Shaban Azmi is in the movie uh, in the Netflix, I was like, okay, I have, I have it, I have it. <laughs> Because, uh, because, uh, like you know, like my dad and me, we both are like big. Used to watch Bollywood movies, you know, like from the very young age. DD Metro, yeah. DD Metro, Saturdays and Sundays, and yeah. you know, all these things. So, so, so I was like happy, you know, like my dad will be happy. Papa, Shabar, our me, GK movie, me, my vocals are. So you, you can say dad finally have arrived, huh? See. <laughs> yeah, that kind of thing. For me, that's happiness. You know, like so I was like happy. That, my dad was like, okay, and then the, the, so that they contacted, and then it was pretty quick. Maybe like in in ten days or fifteen days, we signed the contract, and the thing was out. Yeah, that's amazing because I, I, and I watched the trailer. The song just suits so well. Uh, yeah, with the entire vibe of the you know the show. And uh, so, anything like in future, like what is Nomadic Voice future projects? I'm really excited to know because, like, are you gonna put out more songs or are there gonna be more features? Yeah. So basically, now um, um, a few things are happening. You know, like it's in the process, like contract base and stuff like that, which I can't reveal at the moment. Okay. Yeah, but uh, yeah, few good things are happening, and then uh, upcoming projects like uh, next is Monday the content, which will be like. Mundane content in Malayalam means like um, um, a fool's fool's content, a, a okay. fool's creation. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, so uh, it's basically political. Um, I don't know, you know, like um, after the song, what's the reaction is going to be like? You know, like jail will be dal denge, meru ko pata nahi. So I have, I have <laughs> no <laughs> clue. <laughs> but dal denge. Aaj kal kuch bhi ho sakta hai. Ha ha, aaj kal kuch bhi ho sakta hai. Isliye, isliye. मैंने बोला कि रिलीज ना फैमिली वाले सब एयरपोर्ट से इधर आ जाओ पहले तो इस तरफ आप पहुंच जाओ पासपोर्ट ऑफ हो गया आपने अब रिलीज करेंगे 15 तारीख को तो ओके अब दो साल अब केरला नहीं जा रहा मैं है ना सो वो माइंड पे रखा हूं तो दैट कैन बी एनीवे इट्स गोना इट्स वेरी फनी इट्स वेरी फनी एट द सेम टाइम इट इट विल इट विल स्पीक यू नो इट्स वेरी इट्स वेरी इट्स गोना बी वेरी रिलेबल आई कैन से यू नो लाइक पीपल कैन रील I am I am looking forward to it but you know when you you were talking about like okay pata nahi kya reaction aayega so for for an artist obviously the the love portion is there but the other side of it is the hatred that you know the artist also gets because of their songs yeah uh so i just want to know have you faced that okay that somebody just unnecessarily hating on you because of your song or what you have sung has that happened to you so um i can i can you know like in, in this journey of hip hop or whatever you know uh, being a rapper or anything that second i can i can say that you know like i was in mai mai wo bhi kar chuka hu so i'm happy <laughs> so be saying sab ho chuka hai so uh, it, it was i would say you know like in hip hop it happens you know like uh, like yeah like it, it, like the history would be more like you know like instead of killing like instead of putting bullets in somebody said people used to rap like, battles fight words but yeah. battles yeah So, so initially, uh, when we when this whole thing started, you know, um, this thing was not happening. So it was a kind of a mixed response from people because okay. they were not able to. What's going on? 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 So yes, um, it was interesting. I would say, yeah, uh, it was uh, it was a really great experience. I had fun. Nearly, but it's actually a diss track, you know. Yeah. So yeah. this this particular artist and uh, and uh, it got popular at that time. And after two years, it got popular again. I was I felt bad for him to be honest. But I didn't mean to. The song got, you know, popped up again. Yeah. So, so why, why did you particularly diss that artist? Just it was there. No, 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 no. Some beef. So, <laughs> it, the beef. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, basically, you know, like in, uh, I'm India. So, I'm not. So, my priority is, you know, it's a little old school. So, we people, okay. papa, mommy, respect each other. So, for me, in live, I'm live. When everyone comes, papa, mommy, I don't like to give them a gift. Right. So, the तो जो बंदा जो बोल रहा था वो सही यू नो लाइक ही ही सेड आल्सो सिंग ही हैज एन ही वाज इन अमेरिका समथिंग लाइक दैट सो ही इज ट्राइंग टू ब्रिंग अप द अमेरिकन अमेरिकन थिंग और मैं रहा इंडिया का लोकल सो इसलिए वो थोड़ा अच्छा तो वो कर दिया हां बट देन लाइफ में मम्मी मम्मी पापा को बोलना मेरे को पसंद नहीं है वो कितना भी हिप हॉप है उतना हिप हॉप कौन है कि बट देयर हैज टू बी अ लाइन दैट यू ड्रॉ राइट यस वो मेरा लाइन ड्रॉ है किसी और के लिए सही होगा मेरे लिए आई कांट टॉलरेट समबडी समबडी से करेक्ट So, so who is your yeah, like your musical inspiration? जैसे आप बोल रहे थे कि बचपन में you are surrounded with music, सब आप कितने गाने सुनते थे. But any particular artist that really, really inspired you or still inspires you? Uh, I can't say any particular artist because you know, like um, even even some of the words I use, you know, like Urdu words, some in somewhere I use, it might be from a 
Guzzle from Jagjit mm-hmm. Singh or friend mm-hmm. or you know? so all of things I I would say it's a mixed bag for me and like okay. I used to listen to all of them like pop like from Michael Jackson abhi if you latest say you know, like uh, new age music ASAP Rocky ho gaya mm-hmm. ya fir Khani ho gaya mm-hmm. I listen to that as well right. even even Rabindra Sangeet from because I was in Kolkata for a good while you know like so. Okay. I used to listen to in the morning the Rabindra Sangeet as well. You know, it's it's music. It's all an amalgamation. You know, like it's a, it's a, I would say everything. It's a mixed bag for me. You know, like it's not yeah. like hip hop. I don't know pop, uh, EDM. You can listen if you see my music that you can see everything. Okay. A bit of it. Right. I can, and that I can vouch for for sure. Uh, so I I'm just gonna quickly like wrap this up. But I want to know before we wrap this up is that where do you see uh the Malayalam rap scene go from here? Because now. I I feel that uh a lot of people have opened their eyes thanks to uh, covid that to malayalam industry songs movies uh and they're really really finding rich content uh, from kerala so where do you think that okay this is where i see the future of rap going well uh, it's already out there to be honest you know, there there are so many amazing artists you know, like huge artists you know, like uh, most of them i know them personally um they're out there already in big scene somebody like uh, um signing up with Mar- uh, mass appeal india and uh, you know um working with uh, def jam records and there's loads yeah. of stuff and i'm so happy to see this happen because you know like um, when i started you know like nothing was there yeah yeah so, so i feel so you know like when you see you know like i feel so um, accomplished when i see them shine like that right So it's already uh, I would say it's already happy and everybody knows you know like like so uh, pehle uh, north pe tha abhi south side ka bhi scene abhi bilkul, full on hai bilkul because i love like dabzi is like my new favorite rapper aaj ka yes, 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 i yes, absolutely yes. love the way he raps and just something about him it just draws me in is cause uh, you know kalimari uh, mein third visor tha third visor ka abhi dabzi ka ek naya gana nikla hai manka karke it's very good yeah so so basically it's going to get bigger and better only from here i feel oh, yes. yeah. yeah and rap has gone completely mainstream in india which i personally love because i listen to a lot of hip hop songs myself yes. not not really western but from my own country and uh, that is all thanks to my audience only that they got me into hip hop mera bhi aise tha main shuru jab kiya tha na so sabse pehla maine suna tha baba sahab ka dil dhadke same gana tha 90 millennials obviously love baba sahab <laughs> that is yes, yes. that is what we grew up in us samay waisa koi gana tha nahi hai na wo used to wear that fanman laga ke alag usme classical shots bhi the so it was something fabulous for me you know i was like okay yeah. aise kar sakte hain itna fast pe kaise on repeat on repeat papa ye wala chahiye to and and baba sahab i would say still very relevant I mean, you know, so I'm a big fan. You know, like I'm a big same. fan. Like, so, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So same. it's roots, you know, like in the, for same. us, it's 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 roots for us. Okay. So so Sarat, uh, thank you so much. I mean, I had a blast having you know spoken to you, and I I hope that I you know get to see you in more you know film songs or whatever it is. Uh, you are making your own independent music, but like the Netflix thing happens, and I hope this happens for you again and again and again. in future yeah. also and i'm looking forward to all your future songs thank you thanks a lot uh, thanks for having me and uh, you also have you know like i hope you have you know like aage ja ke aur bade 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 artists ke sath aap aur collabs kare aur aap bade hi ho aap bhi bade hi ho aap ko chote artist nahi ho and it's <laughs> nee, my nee. honor to be very honest it's my honor to have you on the channel thank you thanks a lot so sara thank you, you so see. much uh, and i hope Bye, you know our audience i'm sure they love the uh, you know us speaking about music because this channel yeah. is all about music <laughs> yeah great yeah. thank so, you all bye. right sara thanks bye 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 bye